Time to uh, translate Shanahan. So this is from the TK pod with uh, Tim Kawakami. And the conversation starts when he was basically asked, is it difficult to go to Brock Purdy when you've got another quarterback or maybe even other quarterbacks who have better draft capital, more cachet, if you will, in this league? Take a listen to where the conversation goes. But again, how do you translate Shanahan? Quarterback competition or no? What I can see is what Brock did in his games last year. People give him a lot of credit. They gave our team a lot of credit. But I know how good he played. And I think anybody who really sits and watches it, whether it's our teammates, whether our coaches, I mean, it was strong in the season, but it got stronger in the offseason. It's because what he put on tape was was real. And that's what makes it easy, the situation we're in. Now, Trey and Sam, they have the ability to do that stuff. It is harder for them to do it in practice and to jump a guy who we've seen do it in seven games like that. That that's the harder situation. It's a sad situation I'm happy about, though. Now, maybe he has a setback. Maybe he's rusty and stuff and because of his injury and stuff. I don't know. I don't think he will be. I think he'll get back to that point. And then these other guys can play, too. Maybe he does get an injury. Just And Sam or Trey get an opportunity just like Brock did last year. All of this can happen to each one of them. I know the way that we all would have drawn it up because how we spent our draft picks. And that's the way it was going to go. Injuries happen. And when injuries happen, you don't really lose your job because of injury, but you give opportunities to someone else. And this guy who got his opportunity came in and did stuff on film for me, for John, for all our players. That was as good as we've seen here. And it's going to be real hard to beat out. It's going to be real hard to beat out is the sentence that everyone grabs there at the end. So, translate Shanahan. Well, uh, injuries happen, and you don't lose your job due to injury and stuff, but you do get opportunity when somebody has an injury. And, you know, Trey might got get that opportunity, and Sam might, and Brandon might as well. So, basically, my quarterbacks, they tend to get hurt a lot. Hmm. Whether you want to blame me or not, that's a you problem. But we do know that injuries happen, and opportunity arises, and man, I love the fact that if that happens, I got a wide variety of guys to choose from. It's interesting that a lot of people have focused on those last few words. Sure. It's going to be hard to beat out, because the rest of the one minute and 14 second piece of sound is telling you the exact same thing. Brock's going to have to get hurt for the other guys to get a shot. Exactly. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'll admit this toward me the same way I'm about to call out everyone else in the other direction. This has been the greatest exercise in confirmation bias I have ever heard in the history of sports. It is literally unbelievable how many people will sit, listen to Kyle talk, watch a press conference, watch a football game, gather up all the information, and if you are starved to see Trey Lance, you will walk out of that room and be like, he said there's a quarterback competition. He said Brock's going to be tough to beat out. That means the other guys are trying to beat him out. That means he's open to him being beat. That means there's a quarterback competition. Now, the other one minute and 11 seconds of the minute and 14, he's like, Brock not only came in and did great, I'd like to tell you guys something. When we got to the offseason and watched what he did on film, we decided it was even better than what we thought it was when we were watching it in real time. And it's unfortunate that injuries happen, so that could happen again. And if it does, Trey and Sam are going to get an opportunity. But, oh, my God, what this guy did. He did stuff for me. He did stuff for you. Yeah. He did stuff for John. He did stuff for his teammates. This dude is amazeballs. And then there's four words at the end, and everyone goes, the competition <laughs> it's crazy it's competition but I, I'm, I'm i'm maybe i'm doing this too are we all just hearing what we want to hear yes but if you ask a neutral party to weigh in they're gonna weigh in and say they love brock purdy and brock purdy is gonna be hard to beat out and that to me is the bottom line takeaway in all this they love brock brock is healthy brock is gonna be very hard to beat out which means Unless Brock Purdy comes in and plays really, really poorly, or Trey, Sam, or Brandon plays really, really well, Brock Purdy's going to be the starter. That's what he's telling you. Yeah, I agree. 